All right, traders, we have your trade setup of the week. And guess what? It's on one of my favorite stocks. It's on the biggest one that I know of that I've been trading lately. It's Palantir. Palantir has been on a huge run. You can see here on the daily chart, just up, up and away as we touch even today, all time highs, looking to break through this 67.50. But where are we gonna get long? I mean, it's a nice little move upside. The 200 period's down here at $50. That's not helping us. It's not gonna get that far. 50 period down here at 47.50, nah. But you know what we have right here? A psychological level of $60. Oh boy, do we like that level? I think that's something that we're gonna look at to get long off of. But let's just dig down a little bit further. Here is a 30 minute chart. And do we like that chart? Yes, we do. Why? Because look at this bottom right into here. That $60 held on the 18th. $60 held again on the 19th. $60 held again on the 20th. So that's three straight days that 60 has held. Did we dip down below? Yeah, we got a little bit into 59 or so, but I'm looking to buy any possible dips on Palantir in and around $60. I like this level right into here of $60. It looks great. And guess what? We have the 200 period right here as well hovering at that $60 mark. Look guys, I like Palantir. For me, it's the best setup heading into next week. NBDA, I truly think that this stock is looking to rebound. The semis have been weak for the past couple of days and trading sessions, but I'm thinking that we are now looking to run into some key support levels. As you can see, we have this definitive level around 131. I like this daily print. I'm going to be looking to put in a potential bounce, especially because we've had almost five to six consecutive red days. It's only a matter of time until this stock looks to rebound. We have a lot Lot of analysts Danny Ives at Wedbush saying we have a 175 price target and I think it's only a matter of time until this stock rebounds and then we have the potential to break all-time highs one key part I want to point out here is that we have this indecision candle right here this can indicate that maybe the sellers are slightly exhausted and now we're ready to rebound especially running into these key support levels I think if we hold these levels that NVDA is going to rebound and then I think we continue that Northeast trajectory. Okay, so I got a great one for you guys this week. Paolo Alto Networks, Pan W. This is a cybersecurity name. It's very high beta, meaning it's very volatile. Sometimes it'll be up 4%, sometimes it'll be down on literally no news. Let's look at the technicals though. It's a fantastic look ever since really breaking down from that 380 level back in February. We dropped all the way down to 270, but look what we've been doing since that time. It has been a symphony of higher highs and higher lows, but we're at a key level now. We're at that $400 level. Well, why does that matter? Because it's psychological resistance. A lot of people are taking profits when we get up that high. So what I'm gonna say to you is, Get in, build your position in the high 300s, waiting for that 400 breakout. We've already been above 400, so we already know we can get up there. The highest we've been, I believe, is $408, but a lot of the analysts have very lofty price targets in the mid to high 400s on this, guys. Simple trade setup looking at next week. Got a simple one here for AMD, but you've got to pull up a daily chart, and I just want to show you a little bit of a trend that you've got following. See this nice channel that AMD has since it made this high in October, you've got lower highs and you've got lower lows. Now the bottom of the channel is holding nicely, but a couple of times you've attempted to break out the top of the channel. So this is a two-way trade. Depending on how we finish out, if we lose the top of the channel, then expectation would be look for a bounce off the bottom. It's now setting up that that could be around the 120 support, which is great because that's the August low. So if you lose the top of this channel, we like a dip buy off the bottom. That would set up 120 next week. But the other side is, if you can close multiple times and consolidate above the channel, which it has yet to do, you get one close then dead, one close then fail. If you can close a couple of days above this channel, I think you've got an explosive breakaway long. So I don't mind the dip buy inside the trend, but look for a couple of days closing above that channel and then a breakout of the local high. That's the other setup. So now we have a couple of ways to play the long, either buying the dip off support or taking the breakout when it finally goes, AMD.